Let's see the value of having Curator been fed with the vulnerability information collected preferably by its own scanner or by any other scanner that you import into the into the uh, asset database as we have shown before. So in here we have an offense that fire, uh, this one in here. Destination vulnerable to detected exploit containing cyber mail. Let's actually click on it and see it. Well, we'll see that this offense has no flows, only six events. Let's take a look at those events. And we'll see that, yeah, quite so the destination server mail, you know, revised buffer overflow. This particular IPS detected a buffer overflow exploitation. That's pretty good. And now the beautiful part of this is that Curator, by virtue of QBM, we can right, right click in on the destination IP on the target of the attack and go straight into the asset profile. And this is why this thing actually clicked, is because it knows that it has this particular vulnerability that is a buffer overflow vulnerability. This is all the metadata about the, the vulnerability that allow uh, Curator's QBM to actually fire. As we normally do with uh, Curator, let's take a look at the at the rule that make this offense fire. So here's the particular offense, the uh, rule for the offense, and when we expand on it, this, you know, when the domain is any domain, we are not playing with domains here, basically taking them all, but this is the important one, and the destination is vulnerable to current exploit on any port. Actually, we can switch this and say, well, make it only when it's specific to this uh, current port. Uh, but this, we, we, we make it fire on any port. Uh, also, Curator is already pre-configured. If we go here into the rules part of it, we can see that there are very many, let's scroll down here, on the category exploit, or we can actually select a group here and select the group exploit. That's actually easier. And we will see all these, you know, ex attack followed by attack response, chain, destination vulnerable to detect exploit. These are the ones that, you know, uh, are actually uh, firing based on the information from, uh, from those uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, we can actually take this one. It's actually a little bit more uh, detailed than the one we use and look at the conditions, you know, exploit, protection, exploit. And again, and not so we get plenty of uh, of rules in here that you can actually use, as I did, and and, and modify to make uh, make it fire on the stuff that you are uh, interested. So plenty of things you don't need to have a PhD on the tool to begin to actually click on any one of these uh, offenses and, and and configure it to fire on the things that you are interested but the value here is that QRadar by virtue of vulnerability manager was fed with that information and it knows what is vulnerable and when it sees an attack on something that is vulnerable fires an offense to call your attention